Okay, so tignan naman natin itong activity 10 of session 3, still on module 2, Interpersonal Communication. So the activity 10 is about observing communication in the workplace. So uh, napapansin ba natin ang communication sa ating mga trabaho? So ang mga objectives ng activity 10, discuss what you learn by observing in a workplace. Natatalakay mo ang mga natutunan mo sa pagmamasid sa isang pagawaan or trabaho. So, dito ay mag observe ka ng isang workplace. Identify good interpersonal communication in the workplace. Natutukoy mo ang isang mabuting paraan ng pakikipagtalastasan sa pagawaan. Okay? So, ano ba yung mapapansin mo na good interpersonal communication na nasa workplace na inobserve mo? And then, conduct your own workplace observations and record your observations. Makakapagsagawa ka ng sariling pagmamasid sa isang pagawaan at itala mo ang iyong mga natutunan. So, yan ang mga layunin ng module, ah, ng activity 10. Think about workplace observation. How can we learn about communication during an observation? So, we can learn about communication during an observation by carefully observing how the workers manage to communicate, what method or means they use, and observing their reactions, interactions, if there is an effective communication in the workplace. So, tignan natin mabuti kung ano yung uh, ginagawa nila sa pagkikipag-communicate sa bawat isa. Ano ba yung paraan na ginamit nila? at ang kanilang mga reaction at kung paano sila nagkakaroon ng interaction kung ito nga ay isang epektibong komunikasyon sa isang trabaho okay? what do we need to know or prepare before workplace observation ano yung kailangan nating ihanda bago tayo magkaroon ng observation sa isang uh, trabaho or business we need to ask permission to the business owners if we want a formal observation. But if there's there's no need if we do it casually. There's a need of checklist of notes to write the information to be observed. So, kung uh, formal yung ating observation na gagawin, so kailangan natin na uh, humingi ng permiso sa may-ari ng business. Pero kung casual lang, punta ka lang doon na uh, tumitingin, kahit hindi mo ka na magpaalam, ano? So, kailangan mo rin ng uh, checklist or pagsulatan kung ano man yung mga bagay na uh, matututunan mo or makukuha mo para meron kang paglalagyan ng notes. What should you do during the workplace observation? So, anong gagawin mo kapag ikaw ay nag-observe? During the workplace observation, you have to be keen in observing the things you want to learn and take down notes about your insights. So, tignan mabuti, obserba na mabuti ang mga bagay-bagay, tapos isulat mo sa iyong notes, notebook, ang inyong mga kaisipan na natutunan. Okay? Yan. A workplace observation is when you go to look and see at a workplace for a short time, maybe 20 to 40 minutes. The aim is to see different jobs and work environments, different forms of communication and customer service behavior. Observations in public spaces, you can do this in your own way home at public space, such as in cafe, bank, hospital, construction site, or store. This location should not require you to ask for permission. Asking permission, you can also conduct an observation after asking for permission. This approach will be needed at places that require access into a workplace where you can stand out of the way in a space that does not require safety clothing. Examples of these situations include a car repair workshop, a panel building workshop, or inside a restaurant kitchen. Building relationships. By doing observation, you start to build a relationship with an employer. This will make it easier to ask to come back for an informational interview or other work immersion experience. Let's apply. You will complete two workplace observation. If there are safety restrictions, choose workplace that you can observe from a safety distance outside. Do an observation when you are tending to your daily needs, such as grocery shopping or going to the pharmacy for 10 to 20 minutes. 
complete the form for its observation to the best of your ability. You may not be able to answer every single question. Take notes as you can and then answer the questions or communication that follow the table when you are back home. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin mo na observation checklist doon sa uh, business establishment na gusto mong obserbahan, no? So, magkakandak ka ngayon ng observation sa isang uh, pagawaan or trabaho. So, ito yung gagamitin mo. So, meron akong suggested uh, answer dito, observation. For example, uh, uh, nagsagawa ako ng isang observation sa isang business. Number one, what is the name of the business? Carlos Restaurant or Carol's Restaurant. What type of best business is it? It's a restaurant, of course. What products or services does the business offer? Selling food and beverages. So, yun yung product or service na ino-offer niya. What jobs did you observe and what did they do and what equipment did they use? So, I observed the waiter and wait waitress and also the cashier. Okay? Yung equipment mamaya na. Meron din ibang uh, checklist na uh, may nasasabutan niyan. In communication, what forms of communication did you see? Face-to-face -face conversation in using a two-way radio or intercom are the forms of communication I observed. So, pagkikipag-usap, yan. At saka minsan meron din silang ginagamit na radio, handset radio, o kaya naman intercom, no? Kung nasa kusina yung uh, nagluluto, pwedeng pipindutin lang yung intercom kung ano yung mga orders at yun ang lulutuin nila kasi doon sa may kitchen or kusina. So, parang ganun. How did the supervisor communicate with the employees? So, paano ko nakita yung supervisor? Nandun lang, naglalakad, nakikiusap lang siya. Face to face sa kanyang mga employees. Customer service, describe any good customer service you saw. The waiters and waitress are polite and friendly. They smile to the customers and treat them nicely. The foods are delicious and affordable. The place is also well ventilated and clean. So, yun yung mga good customer services na nakita natin. Describe any bad customer service you saw. No bad observations. Wala. The main equipment observed. I observed a cash register, yung ginagamit ng cashier sa pagkukwenta ng uh, payment and then credit card machines. So, yung mga gumagamit din kasi ng card. Hand washing facilities, television for entertainment and many others. So, yun yung mga equipment. The dress code, what do you notice about how the workers are dressed? Uh, ano ba yung uh, suot ng mga workers? The workers neatly wearing their uniforms. So, they are wearing uniforms. Possible work experience opportunities. Do you think there might be work experience or internship opportunities here? Internship, parang sa training, ano? So, pwede bang uh, going training ground, yung establishment? Why? Yes, the business is place for ideal internship because of their good customer service. Pwede kasi ang uh, negosyo nila o yung restaurant ay uh, ideal para sa training because of sa kanilang good service. Okay. Manage or supervisor's name? No information acquired. So, hindi ko na natanong. So, yon. <coughs> what forms of communication did you see? I observe verbal and electronic communication being used in the business. Okay. How did the staff communicate with each other? The staff communicate with each other by face-to-face -face conversation and also by using an intercom. Mm -hmm. How did the staff communicate with the customers? The staff communicate with the customers by talking to them face-to-face -face in a polite and friendly manner. Yan. Dali -dali lang yan. Describe any good customer service you saw. So, nasabi na natin yung good customer service the waiters and wait waitress are polite and friendly. They smile to the customer and treat them nicely. The foods are delicious and affordable. The place is also well ventilated and clean. Describe bad uh, customer service you saw. No bad observations. So that is module, uh, that is activity 10. Ang bilis lang, di ba? 